Today, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys how to make a rectifier simply using a piece of aluminum foil. Actually, in this case, I'm using uh, a ventilation aluminum. You can see that's uh, from Home Depot. I just cut it into a nice little shape around the corners so that you don't get too much ion leakage. It's just a habit I like to do. So let me show you. Right here is a solution of distilled water and baking soda. And it's completely saturated with baking soda, which is something I like to do because um, it has a way of preserving the plates. They don't rust. This is uh, right here is just it's just plain steel it's called weldable steel that's what they sell it as at Home Depot and that's the key you have one aluminum plate and one steel plate and the aluminum will only pass current in one direction and I believe if the polarity on the aluminum is negative it will pass current if it's not it won't and in fact right now the current is on but you're not getting any, any bubbles so let me show you what happens when I reverse the current I'm gonna take the negative off of the steel plate and I'm gonna put it on the aluminum and I'm gonna take the positive off the aluminum plate and I'm gonna put it on the steel and you can see I'll show you that the current is on you can see it sparking watch see the sparks hopefully the camera can see that it's only passing current if I touch it I touch one plate to the other. Now all this white stuff on the bottom is actually baking soda because I like to make sure that the electrolyte is completely saturated no matter what the temperature is. If the temperature goes up it'll increase the amount that you can saturate the water and if there's extra baking soda in the bottom or any electrolyte most likely it will take more out it, you know it'll absorb more electrolyte as needed when the temperature increases and then it'll come out of solution if the temperature drops again uh, it's convenient anyway let me switch to polarity okay so now we got negative on the aluminum plate and positive on the steel plate and you see the bubbles just rush right off of that so there you have it. You have uh, an actual homemade improvised diode. This has a lot of good applications. This will work on 120 volts AC too. It can handle lots of power. Right now I have about 20, 20, 18 to 20 volts DC going through here. Probably about 3 to 5 amps. And it's currently taking too much power out of my transformer. I'll show you what, what I mean. Now, let me switch this back. Okay. Now, you got positive back on the aluminum and negative back on the steel. And I'll show you my uh, the transformer I'm using. The power supply is actually for a model train set. I've had this thing for years. It is... Uh, pretty good actually you can change the uh, voltage and current you can switch the polarity right here it also has AC too so what you can use this for is you can use it to rectify house current and I'll show you in a minute how to do that so once again this is positive on the aluminum negative on the steel and I have a switch right here I can change the polarity without changing the wires I just wanted to show you that I was in fact changing the wires but switch the polarity and you get current to pass switch the polarity the current stops change it again the current goes so what you have here is a really really effective rectifier